Recap True One claims on its website that its software is the gold standard in photo editing. Developed by Phase One, a Danish company which specializes in high end medium format cameras, it has a reputation of being trusted by pros and being able to produce the highest quality images. I've received a lot of requests to review Capture One, so after months of testing, I'm happy to finally report on the performance of its flagship software, Capture One Pro, the version which supports all cameras. So without further ado, here are the top five standout features of Capture One. Number one is excellent photo browser. While having a photo browser seems to be an easy feature, the truth is most implementations are pretty laggy when it has to handle thousands of photos. Capture One stands out for its solid implementation. Scrolling through photos is smooth. It didn't seem to tax my MacBook's processor excessively. I also like its minimalistic look. There's not too much clutter to distract you from the photo. In terms of viewing options, you have film strip view, grid view, and file view. Film strip view has some nice touches, like the film strip can be resized by dragging the window, and that will automatically resize the thumbnails. Capture One also has the flexibility to put the film strip to the side or the bottom of the screen to suit your workflow. In terms of searching for photos, it is feature filled. Capture One supports searching by file name or any other camera metadata you can think of. Multiple criteria is also supported. You can also rate, tag, sort, or filter your photos. In short, Capture One's photo browser gives an A-plus experience, which makes it stand out among the crowd. At number two is elegant user interface. Capture One's user interface beats its competitors in a few ways. First, it looks great. Just check out the design of its widgets used to make color adjustments. It's pretty slick. Second, the interface is highly customizable. You can add or remove panels or reposition any panel to suit your workflow. Third, the interface is highly responsive as it relies on hardware acceleration to improve the performance. Scrolling, panning, opening or closing windows, and performing adjustments is smoother than most of its peers. At number three is top-notch raw processing. Capture One claims their editing tools bring images to life with realistic, vibrant tones. Well, after using the software, I can say this is not just marketing hype. Capture One's raw tone adjustments are excellent across the board. In my judgment, it has the best shadows and black sliders in raw editing. It is impressive how these sliders can recover details even in extremely dark areas while avoiding artifacts and unnatural color found in lesser editing software. Capture One targets tones very well too. Its shadow tool affects just the shadows and its highlight tool affects just the highlights. That means you get better results with just their global adjustments without needing to paint and mask, which is a real time saver. At number four is precise layers and masks. Capture One stands out by its support for layers which allow for targeted adjustments to specific areas of a photo. It works similar to Lightroom's local adjustments, except that its layers have the flexibility to be named. You can adjust opacity, refine a mask. In short, it's just a more powerful way to do local adjustments, even when compared to Lightroom's non-layer implementation. While most photo editors let you create masks by painting, Capture One differentiates itself through the quality of its brush edge detection, which is faster and more accurate than its competition. Creating complex masks takes less time and effort in Capture One, and the brushing experience is smooth. In addition, Capture One supports Fill Mask, which enables you to quickly fill in an outline drawn with a brush. That's a real time saver. At number five is a powerful color editor. Capture One has a powerful tool for changing the hue, saturation, and lightness, or HSL, of any colors in your image. It's called the Color Editor and has both basic and advanced modes. Basic mode works like the selective color adjustment in Lightroom, where you pick from an array of colors 
red, green, blue, magenta, and change the HSL via sliders. What makes Capture One unique is the advanced mode. Advanced mode allows you to select a color using a color picker. Then you can manipulate a fancy widget to expand or contract the range of colors that are affected. For example, here, I specifically want to saturate just the oranges and exclude any greens. So I'll use that widget to specify only the oranges. It's a unique interface and I haven't seen any other comparable implementation in its competition. As a bonus, you can also use the selected colors to create a layer mask. That might be a more convenient masking method for some types of images. So it's nice to have that option. Number six is comprehensive feature set. The last standout feature of Capture One is its comprehensive array of tools. Capture One has every feature you would expect in a top-notch photo editor. It has lens correction, perspective correction, image straightening, healing brush, noise removal, dehaze, texture. Just check out its perspective correction with its unique interface to get a glimpse of the quality of its tools. So those were the top five standout features. But before I go to the cons of Capture One, here are some photos I edited with Capture One to give you a feel of its capabilities. So let's talk about the disadvantages of Capture One. As you've seen from the samples, Capture One produces outstanding results. But are there any downsides to Capture One? Well, no photo editor is perfect, so yes, there are, and I'll name three. The first one is its JPEG highlight performance. I've said previously that Capture One's raw highlight adjustment is very good. Unfortunately, that performance does not translate to when editing a JPEG file. As you can see here, reducing the highlights in a JPEG file results in lost contrast as it turns the highlights to an unpleasant gray. This is a problem that needs to be fixed ASAP as highlight adjustments are one of the most common tasks in retouching. You can get around this problem by avoiding the highlight slider altogether and resorting to local adjustments but that will take a lot more time and effort. The second problem is JPEG noise reduction. Capture One is also hindered by its JPEG noise reduction performance. As you can see here, reducing the noise in a JPEG produces very unpredictable output, which is actually hard to describe. Well, it certainly didn't reduce the noise and the result is not pleasant. I want to emphasize that this behavior does not exist when working with RAW. And the third disadvantage is its price. We come now to the biggest downside of Capture One, and that is its price. Capture One costs a whopping 319 US dollars one-time payment, which is equivalent to a three-year Lightroom subscription. If you wish to subscribe, that will also set you back 25 US dollars a month, which is 2.5 times the price of Lightroom. That's a lot of extra money to pay over Lightroom or for any photo editor. That being said, is it worth the price? Well, if you consider the quality of Capture One's tone adjustments, its interface and feature set, I would say for some people, definitely yes. Though it is expensive, you will be getting a ton of features and great performance. In other words, while quality doesn't come cheap, you will get quality with Capture One. But do I think Capture One is the best raw photo editor out there for 2021? Well, we will be answering that in my upcoming video when I count down the top raw photo editors for 2021. I hope you watch out for that. By the way, if you have any questions, remarks, or even objections, do write it down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And please, before you go, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share to support this channel and help keep the videos coming. Until the next time, bye.